The media center for this year's G20 summit has opened its doors, welcoming at least 5,000 journalists from different parts of the world. With the start of the two-day Sherpa meeting and with a number of press conferences happening on Thursday, it's safe to say that Hangzhou City is officially running on G20 time. Sarah your reports from the summit's media center. This is the media center for the G20 summit. For the coming few days, it will be a base for more than 5,000 journalists, 2,000 of which have come from overseas. It's on the first floor of the Hangzhou International Expo Center, the main venue for the summit. It covers an area of about 10,000 square meters, larger than the football field, making it one of the biggest media centers in the world. It is my first time to Hangzhou, and I think Hangzhou is very clean, and especially this media center is very big, and every facility is very good, and every volunteer is very kind. Even in very my simple question, they are very very enthusiastically reply to my question, so I'm very, very happy about it. One of the things really I like is the uh, translator by phone. You can call somebody. In our case, we are foreigners, we're working here also. We need to do interview in some language, are not our language. So we can call the, the translator and uh, establish a communication with the others by the translation. That is one thing really is very good uh, in the media center. It has 1,500 workspaces with 750 terminals, which are all networked to printers and internet. There is also a high-speed Wi-Fi service available. There are seven press conference rooms of varying sizes. The largest is for the most important questions and answers. This is a global meeting, so the media center stays open 24 hours a day, including an information desk and a numerous buffet and refreshment stations. There is also an area set aside for meditation and a prayer room for those with special religious beliefs. This is Xiao Rishu from Media Center at Hangzhou International Expo Center.